Hi, I'm Mary Hirsch and I'm going to take you through this Datasite Fabrica training. This training is for anyone who wants to learn more about Datasite Fabrica. The training is in three parts. Part 1, Introduction to Datasite Fabrica. Part 2, Create New Accounts and Manage Contacts in Datasite Fabrica. And Part 3, Register DOIs and Metadata in Datasite Fabrica. By the end of the training, you should feel confident keeping your organisational profile up to date creating and managing contacts, creating new repositories, and creating and managing DOIs and metadata. Part one, introduction to Datasite Fabrica. Fabrica is exclusively for Datasite members. Your organization must be a Datasite member or part of a Datasite consortium to access Fabrica. When a new member joins Datasite, they will be provided with a set of credentials so they can log in. If you think you should have access to Fabrica, but you don't have a login, please contact support at datasite.org. Fabrica is a web interface or portal where you can log in to update and manage your organisational profile and contact information, create a new repository and create and manage DOIs and metadata. One of the first things you'll do when you log into Fabrica is update your organization's profile. You can do this in the settings tab. Your organization's website, logo, country and focus area will be synced from Fabrica to the members page on the Datasite website. Don't forget to upload your logo. And remember, there are two environments. In the production environment, DOIs are registered in the global handle server when you move them to registered or findable state. This is a live DOI and cannot be deleted or changed. Make sure you use your production credentials to access production fabrica. The test, the test environment is a sandbox which mirrors production. However, it uses an in-house handle server and none of the DOIs you create in test will ever go live and make sure you're using your test credentials to access. Part two, create new accounts and manage contacts in Datasite Fabrica. In this section, we will look at how to log into Fabrica with the correct account, manage your contacts and create a new repository account. Before you log into Fabrica, you need to decide what you want to do so that you select the right account to use. If you want to create a DOI or update metadata, you should make sure you're using a repository account to log in. If you want to update contacts or create a new repository account, make sure you're using a direct member or consortium organisation account to log into Fabrica. When you log in with a member or consortium organisation account, you will have permission to create a repository in the Repositories tab add contact information in the contacts tab. This is really important to make sure that all of your organisational contacts receive data site communications, including our newsletter. And you can also update the contact roles in the settings tab. When you log in to Fabrica with a repository account, you'll have permission to create DOIs using the create button that appears on the left hand side in all tabs. You can also see information and stats in the Info tab. You can update information about the repository, like adding the Re3 data link in the Settings tab. And you can, of course, manage and update DOIs and export metadata in the DOIs tab. I'm now going to run through a quick demo to show you how to log into Fabrica with a member account then add a new contact person in the contacts tab and assign a role in the settings. Then we'll see how to include the organizational role ID in the settings. And finally, create a new repository account and include the Re3 data link. Okay, so I'm working in the test environment and I'm going here to sign in using a member account and the corresponding password. Once you're logged in, you can navigate to the contacts tab and we're going to add a new contact. So click add contact. 
enter the given name and the family name of the contact and then the email address. Add contacts and you have now created this contact profile. This means this person will receive all data site communications including the newsletter. Click back to the main dashboard and then we'll navigate to the settings tab. Click update member and scroll down to the contact information. So here I want to update the contact roles. I'm going to update the voting representative and the service contact to the new person that I've just added and then scroll to the bottom of the page and click update member. Okay, great. So we've added a contact and assigned a role. Now we can go to the settings tab and add the raw ID of this organization. So you just need to click update member again and then go to the organization into identifier field. Click to open the search box and then type the name of your organization and it will automatically look up the name and the corresponding raw ID. Click again update member and when you go back to the settings summary you can see the raw ID has now been linked to your organizational profile in Datasite Fabrica. Okay the last thing we're going to do is uh, set up a new repository so you just need to click on the repositories tab and then click add repository here enter the name of the repository and the contact person who will be the admin of this uh, repository. This person will receive the set password email. I would also like to point out that you can include the re 3 data record link here because I'm working in the test environment, the lookup isn't actually connected, but when you're working in production, you will be able to link your repository to the corresponding, corresponding repository record in Re3 data just by typing the name in the box here. It's also really important to include as much of the repository metadata as possible here. So you can include the description, the URL of the repository, the language, software, um, you can limit the types of domain that can be used to create DOIs using this field. You can enter the type of repository here um, from the selection in the drop down list. This is a controlled vocabulary. You can also enter the certificate. And this information will be transferred to Datasite Commons. So we really recommend that you fill in as much information as possible here. And we'll hear more about Datasite Commons in the next training. I'm going to click Add Repository and as you can see the prefix has been automatically assigned and this repository is ready to create DOIs. So we can go back to our dashboard and on the info tab we now see that one repository has been created. Part 3. Register a DOI in Datasite Fabrica. There are two options for registering a DOI and metadata in Datasite Fabrica. The form is the easiest option and doesn't require any technical knowledge and you can register a DOI in under one minute. The file upload requires some knowledge of XML or other metadata formats. Both options allow you to register a DOI and save the metadata in Datasite's metadata store the DOIs and metadata then appear in Datasite Commons. Remember, to register and update DOIs and metadata, you need a repository account and a prefix. Make sure you log into Fabrica with the repository account and password. If you would like to register a DOI using the form, navigate to the Create DOI button on the left of the page and then click DOI form. The form provides all the metadata properties and indicates which fields are required, recommended and optional. If you're new to DOI registration, 
why not try registering your first DOI in the test environment using the form? If you would like to register a DOI using the file upload, click the Create DOI button and then select File Upload. Remember, you need to change the state to Findable to include a validation step. You'll need a pre-prepared metadata file, which corresponds to Datasite's metadata schema, normally in XML format. When you enter valid metadata, the file upload window will turn green. I'm now going to run through a quick demo and show you how to log into Fabrica with a repository account, update a DOI to add a new related identifier using the form, and then have a look at the DOI metadata in different formats in Fabrica. So this is the Fabrica test environment. You need to make sure you're using a repository account to update DOIs and metadata. Log in. So here we are on the repository dashboard. If you did want to create a new DOI, you have the button here on the left hand side with the different options. However, in this demo, I'm going to update an existing DOI. So navigate to the DOIs tab and then select the DOI you would like to update from the list by clicking on the title. I'm going to use the update form option, but you can also update using the file upload. This is the metadata record for a data set and we want to add a related identifier for a DOI of a journal article that cites this data set. You just need to scroll down to the recommended properties and then select add related identifier. Enter the related identifier of the resource and the related identifier type will be automatically assigned. We know that this data set is cited by this journal article. So you can select is cited by as the relation type. Finally, you can choose the optional resource type. In this case, journal article. Scroll to the bottom of the form and click update DOI. Here we see a summary of the DOI record. On the right, you have the summary view option and you can change to see, for example, data site XML and J data site JSON. And if you scroll down, you'll see the related identifier information appearing. This means there is one citation for this data set, which will be seen in data site commons. If you have any problems when you're working in Fabrica, here's a troubleshooting checklist. Check which environment you're using, test or production. Check which account you're using. Make sure it's a repository account if you want to create DOIs. Try refreshing or using a different browser. There's uh, lots of information in the Fabrica support guide. And finally, you can use the feedback button on the bottom right of the Fabrica page to automatically send a screenshot to data site support and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you for watching this training. Please get in touch if you have any questions or comments about data site Fabrica.